that chaos, we're gonna be fighting and we're back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a hiccup there, but what's a show without a couple of problems? But all that matters is we're back in the action. The St. Clair Saints against Farmingdale Esports are in the middle of battle. Theo, tell me right now, how are you feeling about this incredible action? The, the team, in fact, with their body language, with their posture, with the way they're looking at the game, you can tell that it's intense and it's engaging as ever, and the hard point is still being fought over here. Yeah, it's looking good for our Saints. Just a quick point out, I believe it is KB's first game on the varsity roster after being moved up uh, from the academy team. So it's going to be a debut for him. And our Saints are doing very, very well on terminal here. All green in the kill feed up 51 to 21 on the hard point. Brandon will go down. Their last 14 seconds should be picked up here by Farmingdale. But St. Clair have all rotated over to the new hard point and should be able to get a good early head start on this. Let's see how the rotations come through from Farmingdale. Are they going to find a few picks oh, here? But See how the AR players of St. Clair hold this one down. They're sitting back there. Brandon doing so much damage. We'll be able to stay alive. All 1 HP will go down Already eventually. KB is holding the hard point. Spades gets something down by Enslea. And a nice shot again. Enslea is going to get a couple. There's going to be a player spawning here. Does he have any idea? Enslea has eyes on him. No, he doesn't. Spades will go down as well. And St. Clair are holding this one down. Brandon's going to find a pick on Tez after he finds two. But the hard point is still in control of St. Clair. They do have the good spawns. Brandon going to find one more. More. And St. Clair going to take a pretty dominant lead to start off terminal here. Very, very dominant lead, especially on a map as volatile as this. You'll take any single point you can get. They're 16 to 36. Saints are being very favorable right now. Uh, but Farmingdale making some headway over here. Actually, now KB is going to be on the point. That's one pick off of the Saints. 69 now. And they're going to be taking it down. Only eight seconds left on this one. But the Saints are already in position on the next point. But it's just one against four so far. He's holding it down. But then Thankfully, he has the little cubby hidey hole in that little restaurant. They're not going to be able to stop him. It's just one guy, but they can't get in. And Enslea picking down a CLB pub star. Priest is going to go down to Euro. And it's a standoff on this Burger Town. Everybody is trying to get an inch in. Enslea is going to take down one. Almost takes down two. Tez is super low, but oh, no, they find KB. The man is down, and that's going to be enough room for Flamingdale to get in on the point. Yeah, I mean, a great little holder from St. Clair, but now Farmingdale are going to have a bit of control here. And you can see the kill feed is all white. They're able to find some big pickups and should may be able to get this score to pretty, pretty close. You can see St. Clair are kind of willing to give up the rest of the time in Burger Town. There's such a hard point to take. So Farmingdale will put themselves... Uh, actually, I believe it'll be a tie game at the end of this Around, hard yeah. point, it looks like so. But the next hard point is looking good for St. Clair. They're going to be rotating all the way over and they're going to get those good spawns and see how much time they can really get here. Previously kind of spawned all the way across the map and it looks like Farmingdale are finding the right picks to maybe rotate over as they get the good spawns themselves. But Euro's going to be able to find one there and Sale's going to find the trade. But it's a great start for Farmingdale here as KB and Brand are going to find a couple of huge picks. CDL Pubstar is going to take down Insight. It's going to be huge to pick him up in the end there. KB is going to be taken down by Spades, and that's a huge pickup. CDL Pubstar will go down to Insight, which is pretty important. But this point in the middle, no team can get a real big advantage. As both teams are oh, finding oh. Frag after Frag Priestley drop shotting with the pistol. There's able to find two, but Tez finds a couple himself, and it's going to be Farmingdale on the point himself. There's going to be a kill coming out from Priestley, but Farmingdale will be able to take the lead on his hard point as they look to keep the momentum going. For sure, the Saints have fallen behind. After they lost uh, the Burger Town, it became, again, it's a lost cause to really try to uh, take that one back with that perfect spot in the back oh, of that restaurant. It's just impossible to take back over. The Saints have to give that one up, and then Apron was being so hard fought over, they ended up losing the ground there nice and easily and clean and fairly, but now uh, the hard point in shopping, they are still fighting over this one is contested now. It's so close, neck and neck, 96 to 98. Farmingdale is clawing for this one, but the Saints are still pushing. They're still trying to get in there, but the grenades are finally playing a factor. I guess nobody hears a trophy system. Tez finds Brandon before he can get the bullets, before he can get the kill, but it's not going to be that easy. Enslea tried to make something work there, but no, he's going to go down. It's still all white on this point. Farmingdale is cleaning it up, and they are not giving Saints an inch.
create a little mid game from Farmingdale here. They're able to get a lot of time here on this middle point. It's the first point that usually spawns in. So one rotation through and Farmingdale are ahead, but it's going to be the Saints setting up for this new hardpoint. You can see three members there, but Brandon crucially does go down. Spades is alive in a very, very dangerous position here. Can't sink clear. Clear him out. It's going to be all on him to maybe break through his defense as Spades is able to find Brandon and Tez finds KB, which means Farmingdale are going to have a lot more members to fight this point, but Brandon and Priestley are able to find a couple and now the Saints members will be back to contest the CDL Popstar finding the pick onto Enslaya there and Tez finding one onto Ooh, Brandon. Ho, ho. Finding another one there as KB is able to take him out but you can see how the spawns flip. Farmingdale now going to have a lot more members and are going to look to hold for the final 30 seconds here but St. Clair are still keeping their feet on the hard point as I say that everyone win, will fall. It's going to be all up to Enslea to find a couple here but Farmingdale are going to be able to stand on this point and pick up the final 15 seconds. In this lounge it is a battleground. The Saints were taking it very convincingly for quite a while but Farmingdale has taken it back. They are not going to be out of this one just yet. There's still 160 to Saints 123. The hard point has shifted over. The Saints have control of it for now, but it looks to be the case that Farmingdale is already sending an oppressive push on their way. Just one Saint on the point all they need for now. As long as they've got one guy in there, you're going to get the points for it, but it might not be that easy to get KB. Finding Spades there, but not going to have enough to get the kill. So let's bring it down pre-firing so if you can get anything so close. Deep through the wall, but Enslayed is able to find Tez. Eventually, Brandon is still peeking through through to get into the spades. What a sharp shot. It will take him down in an instant. KB is finally able to get a euro there. Priestley is on the point, holding it down. And just like that, a sneaky, sneaky advantage the Saints were able to find. And just like that, they're tied up. It felt like the hard fighting was all over the map, but they neglected to keep that push strong to take the point over. And now the Saints have the lead. 160 to 158. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware, you have to get to 250 points to win this first game and they are still neck and neck as the hard point shifts over to Burger Town once again and they already have a Satan there oh. but oh no Brandon does find the kill he's gonna be able to hold his ground and hold it strong he is gonna be throwing out nades oppressing anybody who tries to find their way in there and the Saints are able to back him up they are in position they already have one Saint behind Enslay is gonna be able to get oh, one two from behind and now they're gonna be getting a rotation over on there as well Enslay is finally gonna go down but the Saints are still holding the hard point strong yeah it's just up to Brandon to stay alive inside of this Hard point, but now Spades is going to contest that one from behind to that little pillar. Is anyone going to be able to find any shots? There's Cedar Popstar finding a couple. Now the push will come through. You can see Enslayer trying to slow them down, but that's going to be all four members of St. Clair going down, and that should be the final 20 seconds picked up here for Farmingdale. But KB is going to find Cedar Popstar, will get traded out. St. Clair like to rotate over to the newer hard points a bit early and that's what they're going to do. You can see they're all setting up to maybe get the good spawn. CDL Popstar will go down to Enslea there and Farmingdale up 184 to 180. A very, very close game here, but St. Clair off to a good start on this next hard point. Some Brandon. shots will go down there from that. Brandon won't find the shots, but Enslea will find the call to Euro Priestley. Will go down to Tez, however. The shots oh. will come out here from that. Brandon. So much damage, but it is about to get pushed by another member. So Tez will find him and will go up, but in Meanwhile, there's so much time going over to St. Clair. Priestley is going to be able to find one. He will go down. Enslea is just sitting here, but Tez able to find those shots from above. Will get taken down by Brandon as KB finds one. Priestley finds one. See, a popstar finds Brandon, but now finally KB does fall, and Farmingdale are going to have control of the site for at least. 15 seconds, you would believe. Priest is going to look for some shots here, but won't see too much. Knows exactly where Euro is. We'll be able to take him down. That's going to be a few seconds shaved off there. And a lot of kills coming up from St. Clair as they're going to be looking to finish off the final 10 seconds here, put themselves at 220 points. They're going to be looking to rotate over to the next point, though. Farmingdale seem like that a so bit of control, but it's back to where it all started in the middle here. St. Clair could finish off the map and say, finding a couple picks as they look to get 20 more points and finish off the game. Here. And they're so close, just 25 remaining in order to take this, and it feels like everything's gone calm and quiet, but anything, uh, it's going to be anything but that shortly as Farmingdale is getting ready to mount their last push. They're keeping their numbers up. They don't want to do this split. They don't want to do this disparate. They want to make sure they're united, but Brandon there from behind on the flank, able to stop that push. They're just 10 points remaining, and they're all very far away. They're speeding through. CDL Pumpstar is sliding in to the last base, but he's going to get taken down before he can reach it, and just like that, there's not really 
much hope left. They slide in two more points for the Saints. Euro the last man standing, and he's going to go down, allowing the St. Clair Saints to take game one over Farmingdale State in an exciting, very close hard point match. A great start to the series for St. Clair. Very close map between them and Farmingdale, but they are able to take it out. Priestley getting the final kills Beautiful. here towards <laughs> the later part of that game. Priestley really did turn up. He found those multi-kill flanks, so a great, a great start. Tez had a phenomenal game as well, 28 and 23. A nice try from them, but in the end, St. Clair just rotated a bit early. They gave up some maybe the last 10 second po every single time basically on the point to get new spawns for the new hard point and that really came out to be the advantage in the end as they got a couple full holds on some big hard points and that gave them the ma the win in map one. Absolutely, the players looking, you know, relatively calm, cool, collected after a match like that. You know, it's very close, but you can't let yourself get too into it. You can't let yourself get too emotionally invested, even though you might want to. Otherwise, Again, you still have at least two more games you need to win. If you're not in, if you're not calm, it's going to be very difficult to do that. But like you were talking about, Theo, um, just breaking down that game before we throw it to a break while they're getting ready for the next game. Um, I, I feel like what kind of went wrong for Farmingdale there was the fact that while they're having these very impressive gunfights around the map and the Saints were getting all these maneuvers, they were getting all these flanks, that whole time there was at least one Saint on the point. You know, even we kind of got lost in that fact that like, it's all this excitement going around the map, rotations, people people sliding, people trying to get these pickoffs, but then there's just one guy prone on the point and everybody seems to have neglected that fact. And then by the time you remember, it's already 30 points ahead and an advantage. You know, so Farmingdale kind of let that one slip by in the end, but it was very hard fought and very close. And I'm very excited to see what they have going forward for game two. Absolutely. And in game two, we're going to have search and destroy. So we're going from a very fast paced game mode to a very, very slow paced game mode. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting how these teams elect to play this one. Both teams definitely have the firepower power to come out swing but we'll see who has the better strategies and how they decide to play it uh let's get a while we have time let's get a round score prediction for the round score SSD. prediction it's up really? to six <laughs> so you know make your okay. guesses um I, I think it's isn't it up to seven six six okay yeah. if it's up to six i'm gonna say six five just six, based off five. of that last one uh, I can't imagine it being any less close in fact I think it's going to be very Saints favorite near the beginning but I feel like Farmingdale is going to pick it back up they're going to get scrappy and they're going to get those pushes just how they need to get them um, and Saints aren't going to be able to walk away with that one uh, very cleanly but they will walk away with it in the end that's me how about yourself yeah yeah, I'm somewhere on the same page alongside a 6564, six, somewhere there. Should be very, very close from what we just saw. But as we said, it is search and destroy, a completely different mm -hmm. game mode. So we could just see the game flipped on its head. But let's talk about some of the players there. I think it's KB's first team, uh, first game on the varsity roster mm -hmm. coming up from Academy. So congratulations there. And of course. Had a, had a very, very nice performance there on Terminal to start off on the AR. Had a, had a great game for himself and alongside Priestley, who also popped off towards the end there a little bit. Really found those kills when it mattered most. Just a great overall performance from, from a couple members there. And, Really, really showing them how it's done. Uh, to me, I, I definitely got to keep my eye on a CDL pub star. <laughs> uh, it's, it's very rare that you see somebody kind of outshoot Brandon from a flank position. Not only did Brandon get like the, the start, you know, that person wasn't aware of Brandon, but then they immediately turn around and pick him off. It's, it's a very unsettling thing if you're a Saints fan to see. So I'm impressed and I'm excited to see what more they have in store for us as we get through the series. But we're all going to have to wait and see just how we're going to get that to boil over as we get ready and wait for the action to go through in the next game. It's Search and Destroy coming right up. We're going to be right into the action. And let's get started with round one. It's going to be St. Clair on the attack, Farmingdale on the defense and uh, they played this map yesterday, went to around 11. Let's see if St. Clair can kind of pick things up. Let's see how it's going to start off. Euro's going to take a lot of damage, but will be able to stay alive. As I see that, Spades takes down Enslaya. That's a great start for Farmingdale here. Let's see how the side, the, they decide to play this defense. Some shots going to come out from KB there. Won't be able to find the kill. Will get stunned up, so has to be a little bit careful around the corner. But Spades was able to find that first pick, and now playing in a very, very safe position. Greasy, though, will find CDL Pubstar. That should give them a lot of space onto that A side, as I believe the plant will be going down. 
now that now in the 3v3 situation, Saints are looking very, very good and 40 seconds away. They just need to defend this bomb. Let's see what KB can find here. All three enemies right next to him. Does he have any idea? Should be able to find one here. There is one. Will he be able to find second? Yes, he will. It's all on to KB now to find the third here. Tez will have to find the 1v3. KB is able to stay alive and just maintaining his life there is so, so important. Now everyone knows where Tez is. 18 seconds left. This should be around oh lock for St. Clair. And they are able to take it down. A great start for them in game one. Beautifully played by the Saints. It was looking like it could have been redeemed, but just in the end there, it wasn't able to pull it back up. But as we head into the next round, I look forward to see how Farmville has a response for the Saints. Yeah. They're switching sides now, so it's going to be Farmingdale on the attack. Sinclair were able to somehow get their way in into uh, A really, really easily, considering they had a man disadvantage. But KB able to find three kills there, which is a very, very good start for him in this game. Let's see how Farmingdale chooses to attack this one. Absolutely. The Saints are already on B. They have leaving one on A, uh, and they already have Brendan in his favorite little hiding position, looking out for anybody trying to make any rotations. But it seems that Farmingdale is going to be favoring B side here. If Enslayer can catch wind of this, he could get a very good uh, flank through the middle there, but he's not going to risk it. Uh, he's just going to keep it going, stay where he is, stay put. But the push from Farmingdale is mounting up, and the pressure is feeling very present. If uh, you're feeling on the side of St. Clair College, you can definitely feel that something's wrong. And they already see Tez there jumping across, getting fish on oh, oh, Spades is just gunned down like a dummy in a firing range. Almost found CDL pump start, but that was so close. Bullets are whizzing by their head there. Sliding out, see if you can find him. Tez is down, but Euro is able to take down recently in revenge. But there was exchange there. Gunshots are fired, and that's going to be another round for the Saints. Great round for the Saints. They're able to hold at the right angle, make the right pushes, find the right trades, and in the end, it's like finding that final pick. Well, with the MCW, such a popular weapon right now, everyone seems to be using it. A oh, very, yeah. very strong AR that can just beam from across the map. But St. Clair Saints able to take a 2 lead. KB 4 and 0 now in this overtime great start for him in this matchup. Let's see how they decide to play this attack. Last time they were down a person but still made their way into A. This time they're going to be looking to maybe make their way over to B. They're going to be spraying from across the map and find too much. KB moving up on his lonesome here. Looking to make a lot of space and CDL Popstar right around the corner. Has to be very, very careful. KB is getting some shots down at him, has to be it. careful, looking to peek that corner, can't see too much, will throw the flash, won't hit too much, but Priestley finds a kill into Euro early with a pistol, and that should open up the push here for the side of the Saints if they decide to go pretty quickly, good big CDL Pubstar is in a great flanking position here, St. Clair have to be careful for him there, but you can see everybody from the roster moving on to that B side, and the plant is going down for Priestley, as soon as it does, that should be a 40 second timer now for Farmingdale to come back and look for the defuse. Absolutely, and the Saints have already got it planted. It's just a matter of time now. They have to keep holding. They find a pump start, and they are able to track now. KB, an excellent shot, excellent tracking there. Now, it's just the Farmingdale, two of them, Tez and Spades, but now it's actually just Tez, and he is able to find Priestley in that exchange. Brandon already is doing suppressive fire. It's not going to be easy to get out of your little hiding spot there. Brandon just keeping his eyes ready on the mark. Oh, try to get a nice little pretty shot on Tez, but don't think he saw that Tez already rotated up. But Tez oh, immediately put down by, I think that was KB there getting the kill. It's 3-0 over Farmingdale. And if we're listening to my predictions, this is exactly what I said was going to happen. You I know, too. I thought it was going to be Saints favored. To start, I feel like Farmingdale is going to be able to pull this back. It's going to either be very, very much Saints favored, or as you said, we're going to see from the come back a little bit. But right now, they don't have an answer to KB. He's 6-0, playing so, so well on this map. Let's see if Farmingdale can turn around with an attacking round of their own. It is first to six, so still plenty of game left to go. Tez is going to be able to pick up that bomb. Going to look for a pick early. Won't find much in Slayer on the A side. Is just chilling. Nobody's really pushing him. It's going to be a very, very slow push from Farmingdale. They are deciding to take their time. Priestley on 
this B side is just sitting, making sure that nobody comes to him. Spade's gonna be able to find him, but will take a couple of shots there. Everyone is able to stay alive, but St. Clair just burning a lot of time right now, and now Farmingdale have under a minute to get this bomb down. Yeah, this is looking to be intense. Everybody's still up and running. 50 seconds left. As that time ticks down, that only just serves to make the attacking side more nervous. Farmingdale, they have to decide what they're gonna do. Trying to see if they can get a kickoff on KB. That would be so valuable. He's even kind of entertaining the idea, just hopping back and forth there, seeing if they can take some more attention, maybe allow Chrissy to push up, but that's oh, not going to go shot. their way. Finding them down, but KB is able to get revenge, but again, Spades is there to get the retaliatory kill. The bomb is down, but they pick it all up. Spades making a beeline for B side, potentially. Yeah. Yep, going for B. Uh, they have they have CDL Pupstar rotating around on A side, coming from behind, so if they can oh, find the Saints, and if only that tank wasn't there, he would have seen them too. Probably got a collat kill there. He has to do a little bit more running. Brand is gonna go down to CDL Pupstar from behind just like that, and it's just not just Leah left. The bomb is down, and he's already getting surrounded and flanked, and in an instant, Farmingdale are able to take that round. Great around from farming the other, able to find the trades there onto that B side, and just finding the better shots early into the round really gave them the advantage. So that will be their first round. There may be a swing of momentum, but Saints are going to be back on the attack this next round. They're going to look to keep their uh, winning ways on attack, and maybe they've been so, so, playing so, so well on the attack. Just want to see them stay composed and really really show out let's see how they decide to attack this one able to go a once b that second time third time is the charm maybe for farmingdale but Hopefully. our saints are gonna be making their way up b it looks like yet again they love looking for those early shots but cdl pop star in such a good position very very early and say so it has to be very very careful around the corner here nade will go out won't find too much but they very have to be careful around see the base of pups are here. Such a great spot. I don't think they have no idea that he's there. So if anyone walks across there, it will be certain death. But it looks like the Saints are gonna opt out for a B push. As you can see, and say trying to make a little bit of space here. But CDL Pups are just waiting for somebody to open this door so he can just spray them down. He's gonna oh. turn the corner. He's gonna find one. He's gonna look for the second. Won't be able to find it. Can't find it with a pistol as well. And it's gonna be just Brandon going down the trade. Won't come out their spades. He's gonna have a chance here. KB is gonna find CDL Pubstar. And say so he's running for his life as spades is on the chase with the pistol. Won't be able to find it. Let's see, he's in no man's land down. Zinsley is able to take him down. A huge turnaround for St. Clair, but only 28 seconds left as they have to start making their way over Side. to the bomb sites. It's gonna be all on Euro to hold this one. KB is gonna turn the corner will go down will the trade come out yes it will from inside the plant should go down any second now as tez is all the way across the map in this round went from looking very dire to very good for the side of sinclair yeah they made way for him they recognize that they were running out of time they're running out of opportunity they just made way oh. and enslay finds oh, tez but he's not able to get the pick off he is hurting just a little bit priestly he's gonna opt to just play it safe play it defensively you know that tez has to come to you not the other way around they find him oh, no shots. it's gonna go down that's gonna be another round for farmingdale looks like daniel was just right on all over again, isn't it, Theo? Yeah, a bit of a misplay there from the Saints. They had the 2v1 and they just did not play together well. Laps. <laughs> Some victory laps here for Tez as Farmingdale are going to be able to pick up their second round. And as you predicted, it's going to be getting a very, very close game. Now Farmingdale are going to be back on the attack, switching sides every, every, single, half, every single round as St. Clair look to bounce back and get some momentum going. But... Farmingdale have picked it up these last few rounds, even with a couple misplays there, maybe chasing a little bit too deep into St. Clair's spawn. Tez is able to find the 1v2 and give them that round. KB being so, so strong for St. Clair and now 8-2 and two in five rounds. A great performance from so far. He's gonna look to keep that one going, but it's gonna be looking like a mid to A push from the side of Farmingdale here. A subtle component, uh, but I think one that's so incredibly important nonetheless is the movement capabilities of all of these players. The way they all immediately get to the positions that they need to be at the start of the round, making everything a lot harder just like that. And so he's able to find Tez because he's in his position, just like I said. Everybody's there immediately, and the, it's more so the threat of someone being where you think they're going to be is it actually more scary than them actually being there because it forces you to play so differently than you might want to. Space is going to find Ensley as he hops around that corner again, making it hard to find. Pre-firing KB, 
just knows exactly where his opponents want to be. Playing around that back, finds Euro, knows that he's going to be there, but he's not expecting Spades to come sliding over right in front of him. Euro is going to get the plant down. Saints are just two lives remaining, two members left, Priestley and Brendan. They are both a formidable foes to have, but they're foes nonetheless, and it's just two of them. Farmingdale is going to be able to take down Priestley. Three to one now. Brandon, no stranger to these. Never mind. Well, he is no stranger to these clutch situations, but he's not going to find one today. Now it's tying it up to be 3-3 three, three, for Farmingdale. And I, I think this might be coming down to the fact that Farmingdale is finally going to adjust to the Saints play style. There's nothing else here to distract them. There's two points, there's one objective, and they have to commit for something, and Farmingdale is able to play around that very well. Yeah, you could see them playing around each other well as well, using a teammate as bait, and then just coming in around the corner, finding that finish. It's so, so important Call of Duty to get your refrags, especially in a game with like SND and Farmingdale have been doing well so far. You could see not a single player on the team is positive, but they are tied up in this game, doing very, very well for themselves, just playing around the objective. But it's going to be St. Clair on the attack, looking for that B push as Inslayer has made his way up on A. But there's going to be a chance there. Spades on 35 HP. Will be able to stay alive. Brandon will go down, but Priestley will find Spades as Tez is waiting for someone to peek around this corner. But the peek won't come. The push will come through from Tez and Inslayer goes down. 3v2 now for the side. Oh! Up. Farmingdale as Tez finds Priestley as well. It's going to be all up to KB in the 1v3 situation. Should be able to find one. No! Tez on the flank, able to find at least three that round. Great round from Farmingdale again. Again, and they're able to take four in a row and take the lead away from St. Clair Saints. Looks like they want to make this a lot less close than we thought. They're taking a 4-3. They only need two more rounds, two more favorable exchanges, two more mistakes in each round is all they would need from the Saints in order to win this one out. They don't have a lot of opportunities left, but the Saints, they're still cheerful. They're still optimistic. They got a lot of support around them friends and loved ones there to show them some support and that just might be what they need to get things going for them. Now Saints pouring onto B side again everybody's in position holding down that alleyway. CDL Pump Star and it's still gonna be concealed, still covered up. Smoke grenades are gonna be popped up just making it a little bit harder for the Saints. No rotations are coming up from them just, just yet. They still trust that KB and Priest can hold this down, and they're putting their faith in them wisely as KB is able to find CDL Pup Star in that alleyway. The bomb is down, and I should rather know it's going to be Tez holding it, and they're still deciding on how they're going to want to play this around. Saints do have uh, A side exposed. Nobody's on it. Nobody's like, physically there, but they have two very scary members watching it. Tez is able to find nobody there, but Edsley is able to find spades in the skirmish. It's two versus four now. And Slay is looking to make, to make it a 4v1. He's trying to take down Tez, but he's not going to find it. Euro just spraying some bullets back to keep things off. Where's he going to Brandon still in position. He'll find Euro. The flash grenade is going to go up, but Brandon is still laying down that suppressive fire. 24 seconds left for Farming Deal to find something, anything. And it's looking ever harder every second that passes by. But the grenade coming out, trying to blow up the car, maybe for Euro. Oh, there it goes. And at the same time, they are able to find the remaining Farmingdale Esports member to tie this up to be 4-4. Four, four. Flawless round there from St. Clair. Much needed after losing four in a row. And yeah, Slayer, serious. Brandon and KB able to find the shots in that round, pick up the kills, and now it's a 4-4 four, four game. St. Clair are back on the attack. I would like to see them make their way over to A maybe one time. The only time yeah, they me did, too. And the only time they did so far this game, it has worked out well for them. They got the plant down, got the kills, and got the round. Let's see, maybe A side though was just a little bit too hard to take as we've seen. Both teams basically go B every single round, but St. Clair maybe looking for that A push as shots are going to come down onto Priestley, but he's going to be able to stay alive. CDL Popstar in this spot again will get stunned up. Will Nate be in the corner there? Yes, it will force him to back all the way out, and St. Clair are definitely looking for that A push early, but now you can see them rotating all the way over and could maybe look their way on to that B side. Brandon leading the charge there alongside KB. Let's see if any picks will come through here. Euro in a very, very strong spot. We'll see two members slide through. We'll find Brandon, but we'll get traded out by KB. 
and the plant here should be going down as no members of Farmingdale can really stop this from coming through. And just like that, we're looking at a 3v3. The Saints are already on the point. Oh, that's right. The bomb oh, landed, but Enslaya so cleanly fighting CDL Pokestar. Oh, I do not envy Farmingdale right now. It's a scary 2 3v2. Spade is already on the run for his life, sliding to the car. KB oh, right in front of him finds the headshot to make it definitive, and Saints find the last man left, and Farmingdale are now looking at a scary 5-4 situation. You know, might not be exactly what I predicted, but we're getting close. Well, I said 6-5, six, 6-4, six, so either of these were... <laughs> I, I got two guesses, which I'll take happily, and as not you fair. said, St. Clair are on map point. KB, I believe, has 11 kills now this game, and Enslay is not far behind with 9 himself as it's going to be St. Clair on the defense, Farmingdale on the attack, and let's see how Farmingdale on their dying breaths, how they're going to decide to play this one. Because one more round, they do lose the map. The shots are going to come down from spawn, and Slayer's so going to find some shots onto Tez there, but everyone will be able to stay alive. And it's looking like a bit of a mid could be even be to A push here coming out from Farmingdale, but they are decided to take their time. Still have a minute left. Don't need to rush anything and say in this position. Just going to be laying down suppressing fire the entire oh, round. That, was, that would have been really bad. <laughs> really hard to find a kill from across the map here, but we'll be doing some decent damage to kind of stop them. But the plant will go down onto A. 40 seconds remaining for the Saints as Priestley picks up spades. Tez will take out Brandon to make it a 3v3 in the Saints. Need to move kind of quickly here. 35 seconds left. Tez Ooh. will be challenging Priestley. Priestley will be able to survive on 1 HP. KB will be going down to Celia Pubstar. Inside on the flank here. Should be able to find Tez and well. With 24 seconds though, St. Clair need to move quickly because the, the plant is going down. The challenge will come out here from Priestley. Will be able to find Euro. And now it's going to be all up to CDO Pubstar who will be able to find one. Now it just has to play the time. Oh! But Priestley finds the shots and will find the defuse. What a shot from Plissy there across the map, and that will be giving St. Clair map two and the SD six to four. Six to four indeed. But if you ask me, that was a six to five just based on how one. close that one came for the Saints. Six in four, in, uh, on, you know, in reality, but in spirit, that was a very close one. Yeah. I really respect the strategy from Farming Dill that they had there. Uh, it was very committal, very risky, but it really paid off there. Almost gave them the round because it forced the Saints to get out of their comfort zone and play risky themselves as they immediately went for that pickup on A. They find the plant and then the Saints have to decide from then and there how they want to make the approach. They only have 40 seconds compared to when the attackers are going. They have around two minutes yeah. to make a decision and have a game plan. And they're already spread out. They're already all split up. Some are on B, some are on A. You don't know where you're going to go, what you're going to do. And you have to make a decision then and there. And you have to make sure that decision is done perfectly. Otherwise, you're in some real big trouble. Yeah, an absolutely great map there from both KB and Priestley. Both in the double digits for the kills, I believe. And just putting the team on their back when they need to. So a great second map victory for the Saints here. They're going to look to close it out in 3-0 fashion, and it is going to be headquarters. It's going to be on the same map as well, I believe, but mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a very, very close one. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very close indeed. Again, they're giving a run for our money here. You know, uh, Zarin out there, Coach Zarin, he wasn't lying when he said that this was going to be a good game. I completely agree. You know, uh, Farmingdale has been giving us an excellent show. Uh, this last one, I believe it's uh, Control, right? Head co head control? control? I think it's Control, where you have to fight for those three points. Yeah, yeah, and then control everybody for is, sure, uh, yeah. You know, you have to get those pips. And then it's, a, it's just a whole battle back and forth to make sure that you can maintain control over the map. Um, I feel like the way that the Saints have been playing so far, uh, it really is conducive to making sure that they have an oppressive game plan. They're very maneuverable. The rotations are very good and they play around each other very well. Farmingdale, they also always get those picks when they need them the most. Um, their positioning, again, also very critical. It feels like these teams are so evenly matched in a lot of areas, but I just feel like the Saints just have that extra little juice in them to make it to take it all the way i mean they've shown us that they have that little bit extra oomph to really get them over the line mm -hmm. both games of uh, so far have been pretty pretty close first game was within like 50 points it could have gone either way but saints just played that tiny bit better and there we could see the six four coming out in the search and destroy 
they were uh, Saints did lose four rounds in a row, and that was a great start of a comeback. But they were able to bring it back and really push the pedal to the metal when it mattered most. Absolutely, I for one am very excited to see what they have in store for us. So before we get into the action, we're gonna throw it to a quick break as they are getting into the game and getting the action ready for us. But don't go anywhere because you do not want to miss this exciting game three. Don't go. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have our next game for Call of Duty lined up and ready to go. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be Control, potentially the last game of the series. We have the St. Clair Saints Varsity team versus Farmingdale Esports. And the last series was intense and scary for both sides. But the Saints are already looking to be in a very, very stark lead here. Uh, we have Farmingdale. They're trying to take control of the B side. The Saints are doing a great job so far. Yo, tell me how you're feeling so far about this. Oh, looking good for the Saints, but Tez takes down Priestley there. Brandon is able to trade out to be Euro, and it's going to be instead of finding space there. Saints are do doing good on the kill feed right now, and the scoreboards have 26 times 22 and have not given up even a tick of control yet. But Tez is going to find Brandon there as KB is able to find two and uh, the B zone will be getting captured here. Might be able to take a tick. Tez oh, on behind half though. HP will be able to stay alive to maybe get that tick. And CD pop, CD pop sword does go down. KB gets taken down. Priest is going to look for the push for the pistol. He's able to find one. Looking for the second here in the hallway. Spades, though, is going to find that shot there. I believe there was a tick cake and the CD pop sword yeah. goes down to Brandon. Only 30 seconds left. Priming will really have to turn it up a notch, but turning it up a notch are the Saints. Tez able to find the Inslayer, though, but he's going to get stunned out. Euro here. 19 seconds left. They have to get onto that B site, and they're sending all their members this way. If St. Clair can hold off just one more wave of attackers, should be very good for them. Brandon is able to find one. Insay is going to find the second. Now it's all up to these two. Ooh. But KB with the pistol is going to find one. It's going to be up to CDL Pubstar to end the 1v4 to find a kill, but will go down. And this should be the first round going to St. Clair. But as I say that, Tez and Euro able to find a couple of pigs, but won't make their way onto the B site. And that's going to be a very, very clean first round for Sire of St. Clair. Very well played by the Saints and the uh, Farming only able to find a single hit on the feet by there. Saints not make it easy. You see that beautiful clean kill from Priestley to end things off. But the Saints, they made defense look easy, but perhaps it is. You know, Farmingdale are now in the defense seat. Now the Saints are going to have the obligation to attack. And I'm interested to see how they're going to go about doing so. Four seconds left before we get into the action. And Farmingdale has a lot to prove. Yeah, Farmingdale decides to go for that beat instantly. You can see how the Saints are totally doing a completely different strategy. They're going to send three members over on A, but Farmingdale are here with three members of their own. Spades going to run across here. We'll survive a Priestley and Insight finding the first two. KB finding the third. Spades will find one, but that's going to be a team wipe for St. Clair very, very quickly, and they're going to get a lot of time on this A site. Let's see if Farmingdale even decides to contest this one. I don't know if that's going to be the best idea for them, but they might as well try. Euro's going to find one onto Insight. Tez finds as well, and this could be the comeback that Farmingdale are looking for it's, it's only KB on this side. He will get pushed from all sides. We'll be able to find one. Oh find my! Both there and Priestley finds one as well, which will secure the A side for St. Clair. And now they will have a lot of time, two minutes of it, to secure this B side. Never, ever, ever want to say it's just KB or just Brandon or just any of the Saints because they are always a one man army when they need to be. A team wipe that early in the round was allowing them to establish such a an insane amount of control over that point. And just like that, they are able to take it out. St. Clair already holding A side. Things are looking a little bit easier for them now, only needing to focus their attention on B. But Farmingdale, they're already investing that point. The Saints are looking a little bit split up here, but with that spawn, last spawn coming in, they got three on the left, one on the right, and it's going to have, oh, well, now they're missing one, now they're missing two. Euro getting a wall bang there, able to find Priestley. Now the Saints are going to have to remount their pressure with 130 left. They have a lot of work to put in, and they don't have a single pip of progress. They have nothing so far. They're going to have to fight long and hard for this one. But KB with a five killing spree now. Priestley sliding for his life. They are on the point, and they're establishing control. Farmingdale, they are getting there. They're fighting it, but Spades, if he goes down here, that could slow them down to a halt on their aggression, but they're looking to be flanked from the right side. Star. Absolutely. A pop star be able to find KB from behind, but Enslay is going to be able to get there in time to put him down, but Euro is going to get the revenge kill and put him down again. Saints already have one pip, but they are going to be able to get diminishing returns off of that progress. They have the second one as Farmingdale pushes that one back. Now they have one, in point five, uh, one minute and five seconds remaining to get this um, B side oh push out completely. Brandon finds CD up. I'm sorry, the dark alley, but you never want to find Brandon over there. And the B side is being taken up by the Saints. So close to finding one more pip of progress. They just need one more. Tez is there. The whole trigger discipline, but it's not going to pay off as KB finds his head. And the Saints take that zone 
very impressively, just one point away from taking this entire series. And again, Theo, uh, last time around, Farmingdale were able to take the only single pip off of B-side. They're gonna have to take every single point in order to stay in this one. Yeah, Farmingdale that round, we're playing very, very well defending that B-side, but then CDL Popstar and Euro kind of went a little bit too deep into the Saints spawn and really let them leave very, very easily. So that's what led St. Clair to start off their attack. And now it's going to be an all-out B push from Farmingdale yet again as St. Clair sent a couple members to defend this one. The A-side won't be touched for a while, but Tez will get taken down by the net. KB with his 14th kill of the game going absolutely off finding cdl popstar for his 15th and gonna look for the shot here just pushing with the pistol no fear in his eyes will get traded out by enslaya there's priestly finds one onto you as well but tez finds enslaya there's still a great start for st clair as they're able to take off a lot of time off the clock here only 50 seconds here for farmingdale to make their move can't be in mind here on oh man i can't even talk without priestly doing something impressive here maybe kb looking to repeat something similar that he does by Tez, CEO Popstar is going to get some revenge on basically there though, but the point I was bringing up was, keep in mind in the previous round, the saves are, were already taken over A-side completely at this point, and now Farmingdale only are struggling now to get on the B-side, it's not looking good for them, but now they have their whole force there, but oh, coming from behind, slaughter. and the saves are able to wipe them out, they are still trying to clamor for any ounce of oh, presence Brandon. here, Brandon on that flank, they're mowing them down as they try to make the push for B-side, and he's even sawing oh them up some God. more. They can try to shoot him all they want, but he's not B-side. It doesn't matter even if they get this kill here. If they won't, he's so able to time. pull them off. So much time is being burned away like a candle. The wax is dripping Maybe and it's spelling the end of the line here for Farmingdale as the Saints scum them out. And that's going to be the series for St. Clair College. 3-0. My gut was right. It told me what was going to happen here. And the Saints delivered a very impressive final game of the series. Yeah, a very dominant last map there from the Saints. They're going to take the map 3-0. They're going to take the series 3-0. It was a very fought, well fought battle from Farmingdale there, but they just could not close it out. KB having an insane performance this whole series. Might have just top fracked every single game, but dropping 21 kills there on that last map. Very, very nice performance to start off his uh, varsity uh, varsity career there. So a great game from from the Saints. They're able to take the 3-0 and winning dominating fashion. Very impressive indeed. Again, KB making his debut, and he did not disappoint. They made a good choice elevating him up there from Academy, and he's proved himself to be a valuable member of the team. And again, all the other Saints too, proving that they're very valuable members Absolutely. of the team. It is a four-man game. Every single person on that team matters, and every single person is instrumental to the success of the mission. And so the Call of Duty, as the name of the game implies. But again, Farming Middle East Sports putting up one hell of a fight against the Saints tonight, and they are going to end it up, unfortunately for them, 3-0 against the Saints. But it's a happy day if you're a Saints fan. And uh, as the rest of the night continues to unfold, that's the first game of tonight, uh, you know, under wraps. But Omega Strikers is getting started very soon. We're not going to see the action just yet. We're going to throw it to a quick break as things still get set up over on that end of things. But don't go anywhere because we will be right back.